Cher here, and welcome back to another 12 Days of Anime video. For this video, today I'm going to discuss the new Azuna song that came out. A few days ago, I already discussed and reacted to the new Diver Diva song that came out for the anime bonus track. So, on December 19th, they just released a preview of the Azuna bonus song that'll come out on the anime CD. And, um, uh, if you guys ever watched my, basically, my reactions to the subunit first songs that ever came out, which was, like, last year or two years ago, I can't even remember anymore. Um, then you guys, uh, might remember that, um, uh, my reaction to that was lukewarm? Aw, it's over already? I didn't hate Azuna, per se, and over time, I kinda liked, um... What's that song called? The Azuna Dreamland song? I... I still don't like them that much that I can't even remember that song's name. Oh my god. I started, um, getting into that song a little bit more, and... It's rubbing off on me, but I don't think of anything significant about it because I see Azuna as basically Hanuka Kotori, Hanayo ripoff, or basically the more cutesy version of Siron from Aquas with Chika, Yo, and Ruby. Because um, this is the same type of formula that we have with Azuna. You have Ayumu, Setsuna, and she's. So you still have the two second year, one first year formula. And of course they need to have the cutesy concepts because with every love life group we need something like that. And I believe that this formula is getting a lot repetitive and I don't like repetitiveness, especially in J-pop music because repetitiveness drives me a little crazy. So I'm hoping with this song that it will be a little different because even Siron um, experimented on like different concepts and different genres of music with with their group and which I really liked that. That's why I think um, Siron is the best out of all of them. Even though, uh, why am I forgetting the subunit for from Muse with Hanako Kotori and Hanayo? My brain is just not working today. I'm very sorry, guys. So anyway, the new song um, that I'm going to react to today is called Kakushiaji. I think that's how you pronounce it. And for any of you um, people who do speak Japanese as a first or second language in the audience, I am terribly sorry for butchering this word because I am very terrible at Japanese. I've been trying to get better, but I feel like I've been getting slightly worse as time goes on. So, without further ado, let's get to listening! Oh, you get, you get guitars this time! This is... This is kind of Beach Boys upgraded. Okay. I'm very sorry for my very boring expressions because I kind of expected more out of this, but this basically sounds like Dreamland Dream World again, and I actually remember the title this time. Well, except that um, Dreamland Dreamworld had a more Broadway style, which I actually really liked. Over time, at least. But... but... Like, I don't know what to call this concept, because the whole Nijigasaki anime in general has this same feeling of very cute, like, off-Broadway type style. Where it's like, hey, we can actually perform this in the street type of Broadway. But the majority of the songs just feel so similar. And I don't want to hate this song, but I just don't... I don't see anything interesting about it. And I hate to say it, but I'm gonna go back to what I said while reviewing the subunit albums. 
Azuna is just not that interesting. And it makes me feel bad that they, like, I hate to say it, but they're just another two second year, one first year trio that does this cutesy concept that maybe with Ayumu and Shizuku by themselves would do very well, but for Setsuna? Why can't we just put Setsuna back in Diver Diva with, with Ai and Corinne? Because I think that would be way more interesting than Setsuna being in a trio with Ayumu and Shizuku, because I think I said this in that same video too. Setsuna is like the prodigy with these um, two amateurs, even though I wouldn't call Shizuku an amateur exactly. She is a professional high school actress and she's really good at what she does. But even Shizuku feels like an amateur paired up with Ayumu because Ayumu in this case is a, she just joined the school idol group because her best friend went, really wanted to be a school idol supporter and, and Ayumu really does not have much experience at all with this. <sighs> I wish I knew other positive things to say about it. I guess to some people, if you like this kind of stuff, it's pretty catchy. Like, I'm not gonna say it's not catchy. I would say it's catchy if you do like this stuff. But for me, who's looking for a little bit more variety, which with Quartz and Diver Diva, we definitely get. This song just ain't it. Like, I wish I had more positive things to say about it, but at this point, Azuna just feels kind of repetitive to me, and I just may not really get into them. Which is sad, because I finally got into Rina's solos after that solo she released from the anime. I finally got what her music is about, but for Azuna, I'm just not getting it. And, I, and like I said, I feel terrible because I just don't flat out get it. So that's it for today's reaction video, and if you guys liked this video, please don't forget to hit like, and if you guys have any comments at all, please write them down and hit me up. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please hit the button and please hit the notification bell to get all of my future videos. I'm Kate Sharon, it's been real. Ciao!